Remember, one agent said you wouldn't be able to get this sold. And here's the result, guys. I got it sold. <laughs> Let Sam speak about his wonders because that's a very great job. I mean, very tough job and he done a great job because finding a buyer in this type of a market, which we call a dry market, Good afternoon everyone, I'm Jessica from Don's Premier Estate Agents and I'm standing at number 10 Waddle Drive in Doveton with these two amazing agents, Sam and Lashan, who have just put a beautiful sold sticker on this sale board. So I'm going to turn it over to these guys to tell me how they worked on the campaign and got this job done. Guys? I know I'm close to you and it's easy to uh, point the camera, uh, point the microphone to me, but I think the property got sold by Sam. So let Sam speak about his wonders because that's a very great job, I mean very tough job and he done a great job because finding a buyer in this type of a market, which we call a dry market. So Sam, go ahead and explain and I will put my input later. All right, well, Lushan and Jessica, selling is an art, right? Mm. So in a way, salesman is an artist, right? So for me to be able to work my craft, I have to have tools around me. But unfortunately, mm. this market was dry and slow. I remember having about four open houses for this one and we couldn't get a single acceptable offer we had offers but not an acceptable offer right mm. and then still i had one mission in my mind i've got to get this one sold no matter what right yeah. regardless of the market that's what we always do right mm. and then i started calling uh, all the spearheads on my network and finally found this buyer and he was super happy with the place so the buyer was happy the owner was happy all this time i kept my uh, you know owner in the loop the window in the loop and uh, updated you as well and finally got the job done and remember one agent said we wouldn't be able to get this sold and here's the result guys i got it sold <laughs> that's right see a lot of people make prejudices before things happen right that's that's normal that's been happening since the day i, I started this business now we actually started working on this property even be before we list this property mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, back in uh, last year or this year april we did the appraisal yeah so we had the price in our mind and you know i was overseas i came back i listed the property and then if the with your very first inspection not mm -hmm. not from the uh, advertising uh, we did but you, you before had, the advertising you, you had a buyer so you worked with that buyer for <laughs> consecutively for three to four weeks right? right and that's how you got this price so when getting a property sold there is so many conversations me and sam had like numerous phone conversations Compass. sometimes 8 30 in the night nine o'clock in the night we're talking about strategies and what we need and how much we actually need to get mm. this property sold from the buyer right uh, so i'm i'm saying to sam or we need this much uh from buyer to get the deal done mm. so i can feed him the ideas but he has to be super good and skilled to get those ideas across to the buyer and get the buyer convinced and he done that fantastic job so kudos to him for that now when it comes to me i had a duty so i had to speak to my client and make my client understand about the current market status and what's be, uh, what's happening because the worst could happen to a client is actually get stuck in a different world mm -hmm. not be in this world at this time and losing a good deal so I That's should. Right. I'd never gonna let that happen. If you have a look at all the listings in our company, mm -hmm. we're always working as a team. Absolutely. Uh, so I always check which suburb, which property I'm selling, and I'm allocating a right agent for that property. So when it comes to this Dufton property, I knew me as a listing agent. I need sub agent, and that sub agent should be Sam. So I put him there. So I know how to collaborate with Sam and get a deal done. So we did it. Now, I'm telling to everyone watching this, look at the property what we sold. It's a nearly 40 years old property in Dufton, right? It's not an elegant property. No. You have to be honest. It's yeah. not an elegant property. It's not brand new. It's not like huge, uh, big square meters here. That's right. Imagine getting a brand new <laughs> That's property. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but we take any challenge. Yeah. When so many agents out there cannot get property sold. When they struggle. And then they call us. Mm. You know what? Why they call us? Sometimes you have to understand. The most popular actor is not the best actor. Right? <laughs> Correct? So, you know the best actor. When popular actors cannot get the job done, they call the best actor. Yeah. So, they call us. 
don't spam me the knights of real estate we are saying the knights of real estate for a reason the reason is guys we are the agents who most likely to put soul stickers on every single for sale board and we done it for this property sam fantastic work mate it's a pleasure mate that's it thank you so much for watching and give some credits with this lovely lady for holding this heavy microphone <laughs> for all this time but i tell you she goes to the gym lift some weight so this is <laughs> this must be not that hard for her so, so guys, thank you so much jessica if you're selling you us a call my number is 0480101966 i'm sam from don't spare me estate agents and lucian mine is 0449896210 thank you so much for watching see ya see ya